Hey everybody, welcome back. This case is about one of the most iconic cases in Supreme Court history, so smash that like button and let's do it. Tinker vs. Des Moines is a case so iconic that it's possible you've heard of it before taking AP Gov. As usual, let's start the facts. Okay, so it's December 1965, the Beatles just released Rubber Soul, and the Vietnam War is raging. Bobby Kennedy called for a Christmas truce to the war. So a group of students from several schools in Des Moines decided to wear black armbands beginning December 16th and throughout the holiday season to show support for a truce. Well, guess what? The principals found out about their plan and had a meeting of their own on December 14th and created a policy saying that any student wearing a black armband would be asked to remove it. And if they didn't remove it, they would be suspended until they agreed to comply with the policy. You already know what's going to happen next. The heroes of the story, I mean the students, Mary Beth and John Tinker and Christopher Eckhart refused to remove their armbands and were suspended. So do students have free speech at school? By the way, I just heard you say no in your head. But the issue for the court was whether schools prohibiting black armbands as a form of political protest violates the students' constitutional rights, specifically their free speech rights. In a landmark decision, a 7-2 majority held that students do in fact have free speech at school and prohibiting students from wearing armbands as a political protest violates their free speech rights. So unlike Schenck, this case provides us with an unambiguous W for free speech rights. The court had formerly alluded to students having free speech rights in the flag salute case West Virginia versus Barnett, but this is the most formal declaration by the Supreme Court that students do in fact have free speech rights at school. Not everybody was pleased with this decision. Justice Black's dissenting opinion argues that free speech doesn't mean that anybody can express any opinion at any time, and he believes that school officials were within their rights to discipline the students for creating a distraction. The majority, though, reasoned that students' First Amendment right of political, symbolic speech overrode the school official's concern for potential disorder. In order to justify suppressing speech, the school must prove that it would substantially interfere with the discipline and operation of the school. Let's make sure we understand what this is saying. Some students might get confused whether this is an expansion or a limit on speech because the court carves out an exception. If the student's speech would substantially interfere with school operation, then it can be restricted. So it's true that your free speech rights aren't as strong in school as they are outside of school. But again, the key here is that the court definitively established that students do have free speech rights at school. By the way, remember that we're talking about public schools here. Private schools have a lot more leeway to restrict student speech. The majority opinion by Justice Fortas has one of my favorite lines. It can hardly be argued that either students or teachers shed their constitutional rights to freedom of speech or expression at the schoolhouse gate. I love that quote so much. You have constitutional rights outside of school, and now you and I have them at school as well. You might like this next line even better. Do me a favor and don't use it against your teacher though. State-operated schools may not become enclaves of totalitarianism. School officials do not possess absolute authority over their students. Talk about a mic drop. Last thing, back to free speech. This case is talking about symbolic speech. Remember, these students weren't saying anything with their voice. They were letting their armbands speak for them. The court held that armbands represent pure speech, which is protected. And when those speech rights come into conflict with the principal's desire to prevent potential disorder, free speech wins. All right, that's it for this one. Until next time, this has been a La Money production. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and hit that like button for me as well. I appreciate you all so much. And hey, check out the ultimate review packet and I will see you in the next video.